I think if people just see this on the street today, they probably don't actually realize that what they're looking at is as special as it is, but it's pretty sick, straight from the factory. So this here, my friends, is a brand new aesthetic package that Ford is about to ship on the new, on the 2024 F-150 Lightning. And as you can already tell, <laughs> it's matte black. This is the F-150 Lightning Platinum Black Edition. They're only going to make 2,000 of these. It's going to be a limited edition, straight from the factory, matte black truck. And Ford sort of told me they were going to do this, and immediately I was like, uh, can I see it? Can I check it out? The flickering lights, they don't really look like that in real life. I'll get some shots of them where they don't look like they're flickering, but, oh uh, man, I got to show you what they did with this thing. So basically what you need to know is this is, essentially it's a 2024 F-150 Lightning. So the electric pickup truck that we already know and have seen, all-wheel drive, 130 something kilowatt hour battery 300 miles of range the platinum trim but it is a blacked out version and it is a little bit more than just a matte black wrap it's a whole blacked out package and yes you could wrap your f-150 lightning matte black if you wanted to and it would get close to this look but there's a couple extra things that they've done to sort of make it special and be able to sell it as an aesthetics package I don't know how many people are actually gonna be into it, but they're gonna sell 2,000 of them, and I really like it, so I'm gonna show you the blacked out bits. But also, Ford has really been ramping up production on the F-150 Lightning, and if you think about it still now, in mid-2023, there's still really only two options for an electric pickup truck. It's the Rivian R1T and this. There is no Cybertruck yet. There is no, I mean, I guess you have the Hummer EV truck, that's the third one but there's no Lordstown, there's no other EV pickup truck. So this is the front runner. This is the leading one. And this is the 2024 special blacked out one. So let me, let me show you the blacked out bits. So first of all, of course, the obvious part, this is a factory wrap. So this is actually a black truck, which is, you know, a normal gloss black paint. And then it's got a matte black wrap on it. Not all matte blacks are created equal. My car, I've showed you guys many times is matte black but it's a gloss black car with a clear layer over the top. It's Expel Stealth, so it's actually a protective thicker layer. This is not that. In fact, if I had this, I would probably want to get it protected, maybe like a ceramic coating or something over the top. But yeah, it's just a vinyl wrap, and that's what's giving you the matte black color change, right? But then there are many other areas of the truck that are still kind of gloss black, actually, and that's because it's a gloss black truck underneath the mirrors and the door handles and the door trim, it's the high touch areas too that you actually don't want to be matte black because then you get all this smudging and fingerprints and I've noticed that, so my handle, I did the same thing. So the handles of the truck, still gloss black. And so you can see it also blends nicely into the roof because you got this glass that sort of gets to the top. If I was nine feet tall, I could show you the roof, but the roof is also gloss black. So that's an easy way to be able to tell. Obviously the front is still this plastic piece here, still got that huge front trunk. And then the second bit, which you've probably already noticed, is the wheels. These are 22-inch wheels, and now these are painted. These like are it says also not wrapped, painted. so you wouldn't you wouldn't vinyl wrap wheels. That's a little delicate. But some people can powder coat wheels like this. Also, matte black lug nuts. But the idea now is black paint, black lug nuts, all black look. You've got black wheels at all four corners. You're starting to put together a look here, and then at the front, you've got a sort of a nice finishing touch, which is this fogged front headlight bar all the way around. You can see it's it's darker. And uh, if you're from the US like me, you might be wondering, hey, wait a second, isn't that, isn't that illegal? Aren't you not allowed to tint your headlights? But this light bar is, is purely aesthetic. It's actually the headlights themselves that can't be tinted. So they're not. These are the headlights. They're not tinted. They're totally fine. And then the aesthetic bar, it still lights up. You can still see it very clearly at night. It's still the iconic look but it is very much uh, tinted now, which I think looks pretty great. So, okay, you're starting to put together a little bit of a package now. Also, you can see that the Ford logos, actually all the way around this truck, are all blacked out. So instead of having blue ovals, they're all black ovals. And something else I've noticed that's actually different about the 2024 F-150 Lightning, the charging port over here is on the left side of the truck, right? We know that's where the CCS port is now. That's gonna be an a NACS port. You can see it's all blacked out, F-150 Platinum. On the other side, there used to also be a door-looking thing that would confuse customers, so Ford got rid of it. They just have a badge here now, there's no door-looking thing, you'll always know which side the chart port is on, and that's just another badge. 
But anyway, we get around to the side here and there's just a few more things that you can tell that you're looking at a special package. One is actually just this reflective badging right here. It says lightning, but when it hits the light just right, especially at night, it's that super reflective stuff. So it really lights up. So that's pretty cool and makes sense for lightning. Tail bar, not tinted, that's functional. Your brake lights are all still looking normal, but you again have that blacked out badge. The Ford badge over here is blacked out. All this is looking good, but I think for the last little bit, we gotta get to the inside of the truck. So let's do that. So inside this interior uh, is all blacked out, as you can probably tell. The rest of the size and the layout and everything and the classic like F-150 workbench, all of that is the same, but You've got all this black trim and the doors and all the materials are dark, but then also they took the seats, the black seats from the gas F-150 Lightning to have all black everything. So now, cause you can't actually get black seats in a regular F-150 Lightning package. There's a bunch of other trims that are almost all black, but not quite like this. So this is gonna be all black seats, all black interior, black carpets, black leather, black plastic. And uh, you'd probably think this car would get kind of hot in the summer. Obviously the AC is super useful in layouts like this, but yeah, you really do get matte black everything in here. And a special extra little touch right above my head, actually over the back seats in the sunroof, there are two little decals that say lightning, which this is a super, super niche fact, but if you are aware of the older performance gas F-150 lightning, a lot of these badges that say lightning with a little dash in them, that, that that performance truck had a lot of them and it just feels like just having a couple little extra reminders that you're in a lightning and that you're in some sort of a special trim, a special truck are appreciated, especially when it is limited edition and customers are gonna set, spend $97,000 for this platinum trim for all of the blacked out stuff. But there is one more part that sort of cements or at least finishes off the limited edition look, and that is in the front trunk. So I will hit the off button because every EV has an off button now, and I'm gonna open the power trunk and show you that. Look at this huge trunk. So look, I, I really like the F-150 Lightning. I think if I could drive a vehicle this big all the time, this would probably be the one that I picked. Uh, but I'll show you this here. Up in the top here, it's got a black badge that says, well, this one is a one of one prototype, so it isn't numbered, but whichever one you have, it will be numbered out of 2000. Uh, and since this is the first prototype that they're working on to actually show the matte black look, it's not numbered. So that's why this one's even more crazy rare and special, but that's the last bit that completes it. And now I can close the giant power frunk with that little button there. Still the most impressive frunk in the game. I know there's other big frunks, but I feel like this is still the gold standard. So look, I'm not about to go like switch to the F-150 Lightning or anything, but I do, uh, I'll give this my stamp of approval. This is uh, MKBHD Mobile approved, however you want to phrase it. I like the, the all matte black look. And to be honest, the F-150 Lightning, like Ford is actually pushing real meaningful software up this car. Like I think the one that was interesting to me is all of the uh, the outlets and the the power outlets in the back, especially, would not work unless the truck was on. And now they've pushed a software update so that owners can like use those outlets while the truck's not even on. Just things like that, where they actually listen to people who drive them and can meaningfully make it better for those people. Kind of just like a smartphone gets updates, this truck gets them too. So any any literally any EV, any car that gets meaningful software updates to make it better, I'm a fan of that. But yeah, that's the all black. MKBHD edition F-150 Lightning. Let me know what you think. This has been a quick one, but I like it a lot. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Peace.